it's Sarah. So uh, I am completely excited today. I get to work out today, and that is exciting to me, not only because I love to work out, but because it's the first time I'll be working out in two months. I have been sidelined with this illness that has kept me from exerting myself for the last two months, and uh, finally, doctors figured it out. I've been on the correct medication for about a week now, and I'm so excited to return to my lifestyle. So, but it kind of, uh, over the weekend, I was getting kind of antsy, and I was getting kind of nervous, like, man, I ha I've never gone that long without working out before, and I was wondering, you know, what's it gonna be like? Am I gonna, am I gonna get dizzy? Am I gonna get nauseous? You know, how am I gonna feel? I got kind of nervous, and um, it made me think of when my campers or my clients start with me and I ask them the first day, you know, how they're feeling and they say they're nervous. And I always say, you know, don't be nervous. And I never really understood that feeling until now. I, I'm nervous. Definitely nervous. So I know how that feels. So, so anyway, so I wanted to talk to you kind of about starting over with a workout program, whether it's because you've been sidelined because of an illness or an injury or maybe life got in the way, babies, career, whatever, and you haven't worked out um, in years. Some of you may have never worked out. Um, we all start at the same place. I'm going to start being two months off at the same place that someone else may start being two years off. We're going to start in the same spot today because I need to allow my body that time to amp back up to where I was. So there's three things I want you to remember about starting an exercise program for the first time or after time off. The first one is don't compete with anyone, including yourself. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I used to wake up and run five miles a morning. Any given morning, I'd wake up and go for a five mile run. No big deal. That's not gonna to happen today. Um, and I'm not gonna compete with myself to make that happen today because physically, I'm just not able to. So the same thing when you're working out don't think about what you used to be able to do. You know, I used to be able to run this fast. I used to be able to lift this much. I used to be able to do this. You know what? It's, it, that was the past. This is now. Don't try to keep up with other people. You know, I'm going to be out there doing 30-second um, intervals. I'm going to run for 30 seconds, run, uh, walk for 30 seconds. And it's not going to be a fast run. <laughs> it's going to be like a trot for 30 seconds and walk for 30 seconds. And I'm not going to try to compete with anyone else out there that may be going for their morning run and running at a speed that I used to be able to run at or maybe run faster. I am only going to do what is good for my body today. And you need to do the same thing. So don't look around at everyone else in your boot camp class or everyone else in your gym when you're with your trainer. Just focus on yourself and do what you can do. The second is I am going to start slow, okay? Yeah, I used to be able to run five miles. I used to be able to lift quite a bit of weight. But again, I've been off for two months, so not today. So I'm going to give, I'm going to take the same advice that I give to my campers, and I'm just going to start slow. So uh, I am going to do those 30-second intervals with running and walking. Um, I'm going to do the same boot camp workout that I put my ladies through this morning, but I'm going to bring the level way down, just like I have the beginners in the class bring the level way down. I'm going to rest a little bit longer between circuits, um, take water breaks if I need it a little bit more frequently, and I'm going to use really light weight. <clears throat> you know, exercise that I used to be able to do 15, 20 pounds on, I'm pretty much going to use five maybe eight pounds my entire workout today. And uh, that's okay, I'm gonna start slow. If in a week I'm feeling stronger, I'll amp it up until I'm back to where I used to be. But it doesn't have to be day one or week one. So keep that in mind for yourself as well. You don't have to do everything today, you know? It's okay to pick up the light medicine ball. It's okay to pick up the light dumbbells. It's okay to not pick up any dumbbells and no medicine ball and just do the stuff body weight. That's totally okay too. Start slow. You gotta start somewhere, right? You gotta start somewhere, you'll improve. Uh, the third thing is I am not gonna beat myself up about it and I don't want you to either. I am not gonna get out there and beat myself up about what I used to be able to do two months ago because what, whatever your reason is that you haven't been working out, it is what it is, it's done. I got sick, maybe you had babies, maybe you just never really needed to because you were always skinny, whatever. Don't beat yourself up about what you can't do. I'm not gonna say, man, oh, I'm so out of shape, I'm so this, I'm so that. I'm just gonna go out and do what I can do today and I'm gonna be proud of that. And I want you to do the same. No negative self-talk, especially if you're in one of my classes. You're gonna work as hard as you can work, 
You're going to do what you can, you can do. You're going to rest when you need to. You're going to use the resistance that works for you. And you're going to have a great workout. And guess what? Every single workout, you're going to get better and better. And that's all you can ask of yourself. And that's all I'll ever ask of you. And that's all I'm going to ask of me today for my first workout. So I'm really excited. Uh, if you are planning on starting an exercise program soon, uh, make sure you find a trainer that understands this and isn't trying to make you go gung-ho right from the start. It's all good and fun on TV to see people throw up, but that's really not what we want to have happen. So make sure you're working with someone that understands the theory of, of ramping you up. You don't have to start at 10. You know, you can start at three or four. You'll be okay. Um, and give your chance, your body, your mind, a chance to adjust to the new lifestyle because this is a lifestyle. You're gonna be doing this for the rest of your life. You don't have to be perfect from workout one, all right? Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna go work out before I start procrastinating and working on the computer and doing other stuff. And I'm gonna work up a sweat and I, I can't wait. And I'll tell you if I puke, but hopefully not. <laughs> See you next time.